today we are going to compare the RF speed response of these three meters GQ, Trifield and Cornet. As you can see the Cornet is flashing green and orange and reading 0.5 to 0.9 milliwatts per square meters and the Trifield is 0.085 and peaking at 0.01 or 0.1 and, and EMF 390 is reading 0.02, 0.06 and peaking 0.577 Alright, so we are going to use 2.4 GHz frequency and 100 millisecond starting pulse width Alright, so turning on the RF we can see looks like there is a bunch of noise there Okay, let's turn it on So this is what it looks like when turning on the RF with no modulation Alright, so EMF 390 reading 11, hitting at 12, and the cornet looks like it's not able to detect it, it's still reading. The same thing as uh, when it's off. Sometimes it picks up, but nope. And while the track field also picked it up, increased the reading by 1.6 and picking at 1.7. Now let's turn on the modulation pulse. 100 millisecond all right so you can see this is how it looks like it looks like on the three meters right field two is able to detect it and cornet still the same thing as before sometimes picks up increased reading to one point something milliwatts per square meters and try field two is also picking at two milliwatts per square meters and emf 390 speaking at 11 milliwatts per square meters now we are going to decrease the pulse width to 10 millisecond all right oops sorry about that okay 10 millisecond pulse width try to two is still able to detect it and the 390 also is able to pick up 10 millisecond pulse width and Hornet looks like it's uh, still the same as before. All right. Now we decrease to one millisecond. One millisecond pass with. All right. Um, the track field two looks like it's done. It's not able to detect one millisecond pass with. And the track field EMF 390 is still able to detect it. Yep. Now we are going to decrease to, let's see, 100 microsecond pulse width. You see, the 390 is still able to detect it. Yep, and then the Trifield 2 is no longer since 1 millisecond pulse width. So that's the capacity of the Trifield 2 looks like. Alright, now we decrease the pulse width to 4 microsecond. 4 microsecond. Oops. Okay. So now let's see. EMF looks like it's still able to detect 4 microsecond pulse from this RF generator. But there's a lot of noise in the background looks like all right so now we are going to change the source to external source all right and then try okay this one is a uh... 2 microsecond pulse width 2 microsecond pulse width using 2 microsecond pulse width it's still able to detect it pick it up now we are going to change to 1 millisecond pulse width or microsecond I'm sorry there is a microsecond pulse width so the 390 is still able to pick it up but the tri field is still no longer able to pick it up 
Now we change to 500 nanosecond pass rate. 500 nanosecond MF390 is still able to detect this pass. While tracker 2 is no longer able to detect since 1 millisecond. Now we decrease to 300. So as we can see, 300 nanosecond is still able to detect it. 300 nanosecond pulse with 2.4 gigahertz. Now we decrease to 200 nanosecond. 200 nanosecond, and we will see the EMF 390 is no longer able to detect 200 nanosecond. So only up, up to 300 nanosecond pass. The cornet is, uh, I don't know what it's doing. It's pulsing orange. We are in an area with low background RF right now.